add in the ISO data into, um, into our mosaic ecosystem, which allows me the ability to come in very quickly in the morning and look at the system conditions to see if there was anything that was a system related issue, if it was a asset renewable intermittent related issue, if something underperformed uh, the day, something is overperforming the day, just all of those quick views into the market. So if you come in and wanted to look and see, okay, what happened here on Friday, May 12th? Well, if we zoom in on Friday, May 12th, we can see that the reg up was deployed heavily across that, that evening hour. And so why was that? Why was that deployed across that evening hour? Well, you can see here up at the top that that wind generation fell rapidly in that top left corner. PRC really maintained itself, but ERCOT had to call up more generation indicated by that reg up deployment to offset some of that. We didn't really have any frequency issues, but if there was a, say, a power plant trip or something like that, you could easily see it in this historical data. You could easily see it in this historical data and then maybe even go back to our generator tab to see uh, who that might have been that made that change. And so with this integration, with this integration, this allows us the ability to begin to mix and match the data sources in Mosaic. So um, three of the screens that I typically have up, and uh, since I have multiple screens, uh, I can break out and keep these screens up um, as a monitoring source, but I like to keep uh, the Valley area up just because uh, I've always been a always been a heavy heavy user of point to points in this area and it's uh just a really well-known volatile area 